Good grief. Why do they never go in for me? Hi everyone, back again with another video. Um, I was watching Golden Vinyl Spin's channel, um, was it last night? Maybe last night. Uh, and he posted a video on the best gatefold records. I think that's what he, yeah. The best records gatefold, best record gatefold. Oh, anyway, some variation of that theme. And I really enjoyed it. Um, the way he talked about the gatefolds, the ones he loved, what he loved about them. Uh, and it inspired me to make a response video. So here we go. So I've picked out some. We'll see how many we can go through. So, um, some of the gatefolds I've probably looked at most are those ones that have kind of information or they have um, collages of pictures or they have just interesting to look at. So one of the first records I got was this one. I bought this when it came out. I think when it came out, well, it was the same year anyway. Um, year this jam broke up, I bought a copy of Snap. Um, Cause I'd always loved their singles and I thought, right, this, it, it's gotta be good. So I don't know how many times I read this. So this is a um, excerpt from a book by Paolo Hewitt, who was a enemy writer, I think. Uh, about the history of the jam and what they'd done uh, right up to when they split up, I think. I never actually bought the book, never got that, but I read this over and over again because I played this record so many times. Um, absolutely fantastic. Um, and you could really delve into the, the, the bit of information about them. So there we go, there's the first one. Um, I have something rattling around, I hope it doesn't come out. Yeah, still with the, uh, the live EP, which isn't the right way. Put that back. Right, okay. Another record that I, I listened to a lot, from, when did I get this? Probably, I think this was released in 80, 89. <coughs> but I read <coughs> this quite a lot, so I bought, so this was, um, I think it's the first release ever of the Jimi Hendrix BBC radio sessions. Don't think it had come out before this. I think it's been really released on in different formats loads of times since. Let's put it on that side. Um, so this is Jimi Hendrix Radio 1. And what I love about this is you've got lots of information about the each of the tracks, what was different about them, um, little tidbits of information, information about the the um, the sessions. So this sort of thing, pre-internet, you couldn't get hold of. It was probably about the only place you could get hold of this. And there's some fabulous, fabulous um, performances on here. But that is absolutely fantastic. I love this brilliant record as well. So I'm also going to show both the records I fir ever, the first records I, well, first albums I ever bought. So that one of them is, I've shown this before, so Complete Madness. I bought two records on the same day. So Complete Madness, um, this was greatest hits up to, I think it was 82, because it didn't have Our House on it. I think that came on Divine Madness, which was released later, but I spent, what I liked about this one, that is some collage, that is some memorabilia there. Um, I loved this, just looking at all the bits and pieces and you can turn it which way round and you see something new every time you look at it. Um, some of the song lyrics are on there as well. Absolutely loved this. Brilliant. Brilliant cover. Absolutely love that. Looks gorgeous, um, whichever way around you turn it. And the soundtrack of my, my pre-teen years? Yeah, it would be. Another collage this time, this time from a live album. So we've got live killers here. Um, I love Queen, I love Queen. 
So we've got a great set of live pictures there. From all over, I think it's from that tour. Well, no, no it's from a different, because look at John Deacon there, there, and there's another one there. We've got at least three different hairstyles there. Um, great live album. And I spent a lot of time looking at that. Love those pictures. Absolutely love them. The way that they changed over the course of the 70s. All of them. Well, apart from Brian May. Brian May didn't really change, but the rest of them. Uh, Roger Taylor didn't, I guess, either. But Freddie and John certainly did. So there we go. Live Killers. Another live album I really liked, well, the cover of, is this one. This is the Fuzz Times, live in Europe. I've done a video about the Fuzz Times. So if you want to find out more about them, go and have a look. Um, so this has got various pictures of the band. It's got, well, there's, there's Rudy Protrudy with Dave Vanian. Um, flyers, gig adverts, um, live reviews, all kinds of little tip. I love perusing these kind of covers. Really, really, while you're, while you're listening to the tracks, you just lose yourself in the band and the music, and it's great. So there's Live in Europe by the first time. Sometimes it's just a picture, and possibly one of my favourite covers of all time. So this is Queen, New to the World. So both sides of this gatefold are absolutely gorgeous, based on a... a um, 1950s sci-fi magazine cover um, by, I'm sure it's on here somewhere. I can't remember who's who, 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 on the inner sleeve. Uh, <laughs> Did I actually? Dun, 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 dun. Frank Kelly Freyas did the original artwork. But I think that's a beautiful cover. And then if you open it out, make sure I don't drop the record out of the bottom. So it's an absolutely gorgeous cover. And then you've got the other side with the maniac robot reaching out for the people. I'm sure there's all kinds of symbolism on that, but it's such a glorious piece of art. I love it. Love that sort of pulp, that 50s pulp magazine art. Okay. So I also love gatefolds, which um, show the band. So an example of that would be, so For Your Pleasure by Roxy. Um, and there's the band. I mean, all sporting guitars of various kinds, even though not all of them play guitar. Um, and it tells you who they are. So we've got Andrew Mackay, Paul Thompson, there's Brian Ferry, Phil Manzanera, and there's Eno, looking absolutely fabulous. Look at that outfit, that looks fantastic. Right, love that. I used to put this on and just stare at the weirdness of them, because I probably listened to this the first time, maybe early, early 80s, and this was like another time period. This is like, even though we had all kinds of people knocking about in the early 80s, looking like they did. This is just out of this world, really. Another, another cover, another band collage that I really like was this one. So this is the Colts Love. And I absolutely love looking at that. I was just in love with this shirt, I think. I think I was loving that, loving that more than just about anything. But just the imagery and the what was going on remember that so well love that cover um and the other record i bought on the same day as the madness was was the height of bad manners and i love this one just because they look like an absolute bunch of what's the best word to describe them an absolute bunch of wasters no not wasters just the bunch of I mean look that does that look like a bat I mean that is just a bunch of misfits isn't it I think I mean they could be 
just about anybody. Old fatty buster blood vessel in the in the center. Um, and this blew my mind because I didn't realize at the time that there could be so many people in a band. It's like a ridiculous amount of people in this band. You've got all the brass, all the keyboards, bass, tenor sax, harmonica, rhythm guitarist, You've got the drummer. I always thought he looked quite cool. I don't know, he looked cooler than the rest of them. Anyway, so that's why I chose that one. Probably because I, I just looked at that so often. And then just to round off with an absolute lovely gatefold. Um, so when I show you this, if you've seen, if you own this, you'll know what I'm going to show. So it's the damned anything. Um, when the damned started going hard rock, hard rock, I could have put this on my um, British Indian me when Indy went rock. Um, not quite so gothy anymore. Covered love and all kinds of stuff. But here we go. Here we go. We've got a little pop up. I <laughs> thought that was cool. Um, so the band pop up in the middle of a load of images of the band in a, um, one of those crazy mirror fun fair places. All the mirrors. So I don't quite like that. I haven't got anything else like this. So that was quite cool. So there we go. A few gatefolds that I really, really like and love. Um, are there any that you love? Maybe you should post a video. So there you go. So I'd like to thank um, Golden Vinyl Spin for giving me the inspiration to show a few of these. And uh, I'll see you all again soon. Cheers, everyone. Bye.